Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you actually what I'm having for lunch. And it's second year kale. I'm having the buds before they flower, the actual flowers, and the small leaves. Kale collards are biennial. So the first year they grow, you get the nice big leaves. They're delicious, but they can take deep freezes. I'm in Maryland Zone 7, and we had plenty of nights of 10 degrees, weak periods of sub-20 or sub -20 degree temperature. So they survive, and when they come back, they bloom hoping to set seed. So you'll get all these delicious buds. The salad that I make, or the salad dressing, made from garlic, pulled from the garden, immature, some cilantro, and I just chop it up just like this. And instead of putting the salt either into your dressing directly, put it right onto your garlic or onto your cilantro. And what that does is the salt will pull out the flavor. So you're gonna get more flavor. I wish these are tomatoes from the garden. However, it's not that time of year yet. The dressing is just olive oil and vinegar. You can really mix, put as much as you want in there, but it's about two thirds olive oil to one third vinegar. And just put everything in there. And it's a basic dressing that I use all the time. And you can always just add in whatever ingredients are fresh from the garden. I'm gonna show you where I picked this from, get this set up and show you the final um, thing, the flowers, fish. buds, and leaves of second year kale make delicious salads. Kale is a biennial, so first year, if you can see way in the back corner there, that's kale. Um, oh, there's actually collard greens, but same family. They're going to grow great leaves, they'll be delicious for this year. But second year, if they survive your winter, I'm in Maryland Zone 7, and these four plants in here overwinter. They can take deep freezes. We got down to temperatures around 10 degrees and even lower. Uh, for an extended period and the kale survived. So when it comes back the second year, the second growing season, it's going to want to turn the seed. So you get all these great flowers, buds, and sweet tiny leaves because it's still cool. You know, technically the kale leaves, the colored leaves stay sweet. All you, I do is just pick off all the buds that you find. As long as the stem is tender, like up here, you can take off a large part of the stem and go ahead and make salads out of them. But I just wanted to show you just how much really comes off of your second year plants that you can eat. All these buds and flowers can just be snapped off, put into your salad, and they are really delicious. So that's all gonna go into the salad. So here's my lunch made from second year kale plants and collard greens. And I'm eating the buds, the flowers, small tender leaves, tomato unfortunately from a grocery store, but the garlic's from the garden, the cilantro's from the garden. And the best tip I really have is when you're chopping up garlic, onions, any kind of herb, salt them on the cutting board, that will draw out the flavor, and then when it goes into your dressing, the flavors are a little bit uh, stronger. I typically use about two-thirds olive oil to one-third red vinegar. You can use as much as you want, but this is my basic setup to make a delicious salad dressing to go on your garden greens. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.